All right, hey, a little video today. I just got back from vacation. And uh, by the way, I uploaded a video. If you wanna go see it, it's okay. Uh, if you don't, it's also okay. I realize that most of you guys just wanna watch videos about batteries these days in my channel, right? But I, it was a time where I used to upload other stuff than bat batteries stuff. But today, I wanna do one quick video about a battery because I'm starting to see a little problem, I think. And I don't get where, what the problem is. So maybe you guys can help me. Let me show you. So the battery in question is this 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries that we sell on our website. Several, I mean, less than five, but more than three or some, something like that. Um, clients, customers have reported that they can install the BMS board, the BMS board goes right on top of here boom it goes installed there and then you install the actual bms part in here so it's just kind of like an adapter and it's a quick easy way to install a bms a 200 amp bms into this battery right now you don't have to do that you could also do other ways there's this little connector here that allows you and it's labeled and allows you to take out those wires the balance wires and then just install your own BMS outside of this box if you're doing a, a big battery system like many of you are doing by the way but in this case the the customers that are uh reporting that these are they don't align that these uh standoffs you see how the standoffs are there this is just the, the the board that goes on top here is the same version this hasn't changed uh there was five iterations right because it's 1.5 so i start with the one o and then so there was changes you know we were trying to do this. but as far i did mess with the dimensions in the early days uh but see how some of these are elongated and some of these are like you know round uh but i kind of explained that the elongated ones are just for so that it's easier for us to install it and then whenever we were installing uh I, uh, a standoff here to to transfer the current then those would be more round like that so that we can maximize the amount of surface area because these have to carry you know the 200 amps up on the thing right now these are solid brass uh standoffs and they carry quite a bit of current each one would carry about 100 amps um they get warm but they don't get too hot and so that's why we're trying to maximize the amount of surface area because this it's quite a bit small but you know it could carry so anyways people are saying and this is our current uh bms bo adapter board and they're saying that it doesn't line up and they're saying only one customer like has sent a picture and it sure does seem like it's not lining up here and it's way off i think on the picture shows it something like that but uh, and the fact that there's others, not just the one, it's kind of starting to worry me, but I don't get why that would be. Uh, these boards were drawn from basically the same dimensions. Once I figure out these dimensions, I just transfer those dimensions up here, and then I made the boards, and then I did the, the layout the way it needed to be. So these dimensions have to match. Now, it's possible that the... Uh, the, the PCB, you know, shop, the ones that print these, you know, sometimes they make mistakes and then maybe they made the whole, one of these holes in the wrong place. Um, it is possible, but we haven't, we don't have any version like that. I'm looking at the ones that we have here and they all match, you know, they don't match perfectly, but there's a little bit of play on where these um, standoffs go because of the elongated holes, right? So, I mean, but they all match. This is good enough to put in there. Now, customers are saying that they, they're so off that they can't even install them. And so I don't know how to help you because I don't know where the problem is. Uh, I think we asked one customer to send it in, their battery and their board, because we want to see. Because I think what's happening, well, I don't know what's happening. I thought maybe what they did is they would put it in here and then they would like, you know, uh, tighten this screw and maybe it was like all the way to the one side and then you know there was a little bit of give but I mean even that like even if it's on the one side it's a little bit off but not that much all you have to do is just so I was gonna suggest like 
okay, put all the screws loose, and then once eh, all the screws are there, then you tie But I don't know, that seems like that's not gonna do it in this particular reason, so, uh, case, right? So, I think as, as, I think the only thing that we can do is kind of wait until we get that battery and that board and then see what the problem is. But if you're building one of these, there's so many of you because we sold quite a bit of these, um, and you're having problems, do let us know. Send us an email and see what, uh, so we can see what's, we'll find out what's going on because, um, yeah, I'm kind of puzzled with this. Um, also, th there is a way that this goes, but not really. You could install this the other way. Uh, so these are two batteries put together. These, are, these cells are 50 amp hours. So what we ended up doing is we just flip a 50 amp hour 4S and then we just flipped it around the other way. So this is mirror here. That's why these two here are positives. And then these two here are negatives, right? So these dimensions should be they are mirrored. They should be the same. So in essence, um, the only reason why this is the right way to do it is because there is this connector that goes right there. And it's just basically you put this little ribbon connector that goes in here and it goes right on top and it latches onto that right now you could potentially have this this way here but even if that was the case the the dimensions will match because like i said these are mirror and you can tell here that they would match now of course the the you'd have to move these because now we're using this one to carry the current up not this one uh this one will be the same this one is the same thing you you move it from here to there uh, and this one, yeah, you remove this one from here and put it on here. Now, this one doesn't carry the current. This was just to add support because these are where the main two uh, terminals were at and stuff. So, but the point is here is that even if you had installed these backwards, um, you could put the, the ribbon board and then run it around here and then install it here. It, you know, it works and electrically it would work but in the dimensions would work so i don't know where the problem is at that's where i'm getting at so if you know if you have one of these and you have a similar problem let us know maybe someone out there already figured this out and um, it's staring right in front of me but i don't see it uh and you could help me out here other than that uh these are a jack 35.com if you need lithium iron phosphate we usually get these every month, but this month we haven't. So I don't know if we're going to get more or not. That's the nature of, uh, you know, second life battery sources and, you know, stuff. It's like sometimes it's ongoing forever or sometimes it's just one batch. And so I, we'd never know if we're getting more of these. But right now we have a few of these, probably like 100 left of these in there. But after that, there might that might be it. I don't know. Hopefully not. Hopefully we keep getting these because these are great batteries. Uh, so if you want to check them out, there you go. Uh, if you have one already and you have problems, let us know. Maybe you can help us out. If not, uh, I have some other videos coming up this uh, week. And so stay tuned for those. It's going to be about batteries. Finally, I think I have a solution for these. It's not the greatest solution, but it is a solution. Uh, it requires us to change the BMS because I haven't found a way to hack this bms it requires a software hack and i'm too dumb to come up with the hack all i could do is you know usually copy it from somewhere else so but i think i'm going to show you one way that we can do that also another way we can do is combine two of these and make them to 72 volts because then that becomes you know kind of more appealing for for customers that want like a 72 volt battery this would be super cheap and stuff like that so those videos are coming up we're also gonna I'm gonna finalize and then the, the Sonata ones. And then there's the e-bike battery here too. So we have a few videos coming up. Uh, stay tuned for those. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Man, I love this country. Everything is like that around here. Yeah.